Jonathan Mangum here, and it's time for You Jokes! To You Jokes, I'm Jonathan Mangum. Thank you for joining us for another episode of You Jokes. Uh, if this is your first time watching and you're wondering what the hell is this, uh, You Jokes is a comedy competition where two very funny people compete for the best joke based on an idea, a meme, or a picture I give them. But that's not where the fun ends because you get to play too. Do you have a joke? I bet you do. Uh, go ahead and type it in. There is no judgment here. Type it into the Facebook, the YouTube, or the Twitch chat. Our producer, Josh, who is off camera, will do his best to pull out a good joke to go up against the pros. And then you get to vote on who was best. Why do you get to vote? Because this ain't Georgia. Oh, topical points for me. Uh, I'm excited about tonight's program. This is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, let me say hi to who's here in the room. I see a lot of our regulars are back. Philip Campbell, what's up? Shannon R is here. Josh Bagley, hello. Uh, I see Sarah Ray Ray is here. Carolyn Norman, hey. Rose Taylor, Christy Spriggle, nice to see you. Uh, I'm scrolling through here. You guys have been chatting it up. April Kerr is here. Henrik is here. I see Postmaster Radio. Hello, sir. I see uh, Llama Mama is back. William P. White Jr. Welcome to the show. Um, this is going to be fun. This is our this is our this is our 66th episode of You Jokes. You can applause button, please. Yes, 66. <laughs> Uh, just 600 more, and we can make some of those really great sign of the devil jokes. You know, the 666 jokes. We'll, we'll, be, we'll be making those in about 600 episodes. Remember the kid in the omen had the uh, 666 on the on the top of his head? That's how you knew uh, that he was the devil from that little tattoo. I don't, I don't have any tattoos. Actually, I do. I have, I have a tattoo that says, um, gone to market down where my big toe used to be. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, my toe is still there. But the market is not. It was a circuit city, and I'm still pretty bummed about it. <laughs> hey, do you want more punch lineless jokes like that? Please hit the like, the follow, and the subscribe button. Hit the subscribe button on the YouTube so that you can always catch up with the latest of our shows. Uh, tonight, we have two very funny people. I, I've actually never met them before, but I went and checked out their stuff, and they're funny as hell, and you will have a hard time beating them. I promise you. Audience, please welcome to the show Lana Turner and Andre Dubochet. Hello. What is up? Hi. Hi. Hello. Thanks for joining us, you guys. This is a blast. I I went and checked you guys out. So so funny. So much fun. Um, Andre, you were a writer for Conan for for years and years and years. Yeah, I mean, still am. Yeah. Oh, you're still right. I didn't know that. I didn't know yeah, that. From home. Yeah. No, I just found. Oh, you didn't get the message. Yeah, you're. You're done, pal. Sorry. Ooh. All right. I knew it was going to happen this way. Okay. <laughs> um, do, do, do you have any idea how many jokes you've written in, in that long period of time? Well, oh, geez. I don't know. Uh, probably over 2,000 shows. Jeez. So at least, at least a dozen jokes. Gosh. <laughs> that, that is, that's, that's amazing. That is so incredible. Um, I feel bad for our audience tonight because they like to win and it's going to be tough for them. Uh, what are you working on, man? What are you, so you've been obviously writing from home. Yeah, we're, we're, we're producing the show, uh, remotely. Um, Conan is at the Largo theater here in Los Angeles with just a skeleton crew. And then all the writers are just in our bathrobes and our laptops. And, uh, other than that, yeah, I'm, I've actually been working on a comedy album that I recorded with no audience. Um, so that'll be interesting to see how that comes out. It's just going to be like a, a radio play with like music and sound effects and stuff and no crowd. No audience. That's almost exactly like you jokes. So we have something in common. <laughs> uh, where can people uh, follow you to find out where to eventually get a hold of your uh, comedy album? Uh, well, uh, AndreDubuche.com. Um, so it's that whole name that you see there, but squishedtogether.com. And then, uh, you know, I'm on the Twitter and the Instagrams at amdubuche. It's my handle. So, yeah. Excellent. Well, we will check that out. Please go check him out and uh, look forward to hearing that album. Um, Lana, so you, not only do you do stand-up, but you you incorporate music in your act, which is so much fun too. Um, what have you been doing? Have you been doing the shows on the Zooms and stuff? I've been doing Zoom shows, which is very strange, but, you know, it's better than nothing right now. And then, yeah, yeah I 
during COVID, I, I'm still working. I'm producing a film and like I wrote a book and uh, I'm, I'm roasting a chicken right now. So, what? yeah, it's you, you wrote a book and you're roasting a chicken and yeah. you're, yeah, that's incredible. Two kids homeschool. That's oh, wow. a lot. It's wow. a lot. But, that's a lot yeah. of work. Yeah. <laughs> People during the um, the COVID, they're all like, oh, I, I wish I'd spent my time actually doing something. And uh, you've been doing a, a, a shit ton. So congratulations to you. That's awesome. Trying. Where can people go and, and find out about your book and and um, and what's for dinner tomorrow? Oh, well, um, the dinner will come out long before the book. <laughs> but okay. uh, you can go and find me online. Just Lana Turner. And I always tell people, you can see my name. There's an H in Lana. Otherwise, backwards, it spells anal. But um, you can find me on all the platforms that... You would follow. Uh, it's, so. I, I love that uh, YouTube, the algorithm is going to find that you said backwards anal and then ban me from putting this up. But that's No, fine. I'm pretty sure somebody will find me that way. <laughs> well, uh, thank you for joining us on the show, Lana. Uh, this is really fun. This audience, they they love uh, they love the competition and they they are <laughs> they are very cutthroat. So this will be a fun. Fun episode of U-Joke. So we're going to start off with our first game. I'm going to get right into it. Uh, this first game is called... Name the movie. Name the movie. Name the movie. I'm going to show you a picture, and you tell me what movie is it from. All you have to do is tell me what movie is it from, and here is the picture. There it is. Oh, it's a black and white. This is an, it's an older movie, folks. Uh, what is the name of this movie? Go ahead and type in your joke. If you have one right now into the Facebook, YouTube, or Twitch chat, what is the name of this movie? Go ahead and type it in. Good luck to you all. We're going to start off uh, down in the bottom square with Lana with an H. Lana, what movie is this from? Oh, that is the craziest photo. Um, I would have to say that that's from... Um... A lesbian porno. Okay. And um, I would say it's two girls, 10 cups. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Two girls, 10 cups. Is there so 10? far, that and reverse anal have made this the best show <laughs> in the world. Uh, good answer. Let's move on up to Andre. Andre, what movie is this from? Uh, I think it's from a movie called Pharaoh versus Ultron. <laughs> Oh, that is for the nerds in the audience, but I totally yes. love that. Get that well, I'm a big old nerd, so. <laughs> All right, two good jumps to start it off with. Let's go to the audience, Josh. Pull one out. And don't literally pull one out. Uh, Eon Barrel, Leeches of Eastwick. Oh, the Leeches of oh. Eastwick. Very <laughs> clever. I like that. I like that. That's how the show works. And now it is time to vote. Uh, do you think Lana had the best joke? Type in L. Do you think Andre had the best joke? Type in A. Uh, oh, actually, since audience is A, if you thought Andre Duboucher had the best joke, type in B for Boucher. L for Lana, B for Boucher, A for audience. So type in L for Lana, B for Boucher, A for audience. Uh, Josh will do his best eyeball tally. It is not an official count. Please do not hold us legally responsible for any results that may or may not agree with your political affiliations. Josh, who won round one of you jokes? Lana. Won. I would have voted for Lana too. <laughs> <laughs> it's Early. the dirty joke. I love it. This is starting off great. This is starting off great. Lana has won. Andre in the audience still trailing, but it is just round one. Round two is up now. A game we call Bumble Bumble Brag. Bumble Brag is I'm going to show you a person and you tell me what is the headline on their dating profile. What does their dating profile read? Good luck. Here is the photo. <laughs> <laughs> What is this uh, wonderful person's dating profile read? Uh, if you have a joke, type it in now into the Facebook, YouTube, or Twitch chat. Uh, you don't have to have a joke. You can just watch the show. But if you have one, type it in so you can play in this round. We started off with Lana in the first round, which means Andre is up to bat. Andre, what is this person's bumble brag? So their dating profile uh, reads, do you hate giving blowjobs? Then I'm your man. You couldn't even if you wanted to. Let me be the turf to your turf. I enjoy sunsets and long flops on the beach. Plus, I'm a cheap date because my stomach is already full of plastic. And oh, no, I'm not Mormon. That was a typo. <laughs> 
Absolutely. I love it. That was that was like four jokes in one. So oh, sorry. I know it was perfect. Was so I, I want to make sure that you add those four jokes to your total of over a hundred thousand jokes uh, that you've written in your life. Okay. Those were those were awesome. Uh, good answers. Let's move on down to Lana. Lana, what would this uh, Bumble brag say? Well, I would have to say that this fine gentleman would not be on Bumble, but rather plenty of fish. <laughs> <laughs> and his profile would probably go something like single white merman um, who has a grotto full of useless stuff and he combs his beard out with a fork. Um, and for the ladies, he would have to be guaranteed to eat your tuna. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Uh, good answers from you both. Let's go into the audience to pull out a good one. Josh, what do we got? We have it from Amy Khan. Just a man <laughs> looking for some tail. Just a man looking for some tail. I like that. Very concise. That was yeah. good. <laughs> They're all good. Yeah. Uh, it's hard. This is going to be a tough vote. This will wow. be like the presidential election of 22. <laughs> nope. Uh, do you think Lana won? Type in an L. Do you think Mr. Boucher won? B. You think the audience won? Type in A. So that is L for Lana, B for Andre Dubouchet, or A for audience. Um, I actually know this person in the picture, and I'm pretty sure his online dating profile says, I'm gender nonconforming. I have both a penis and a blowhole. Um, <laughs> and that's Carl for you. <laughs> Josh, I don't get to play, though. What? is the winner who is the winner for round two of you jokes it goes to the audience yep. that's a really good joke <laughs> it's good it's good i mean it's well, it's it's fun playing with an audience that you know you get a hundred people playing and even if even if an audience member only comes up with a, a joke one out of ten times as opposed to a professional if you get ten people there will always be a good joke. So you get a hundred or more people. It's really fun to, to, to see the wall of jokes coming at you. Uh, let's play our next round. Our next round is called... You tell me what that means. What's it mean? What does it mean? I'm going to show you a fake word and not a real word. And you tell me what you think the definition is. That's how it works. The word is this. Gerboint. Gerboint. What does gerboint mean? If you think you know, type in your joke into the Facebook, the YouTube, or the Twitch chat. Gerboint. What does gerboint mean? Good luck, audience. Uh, we started with, uh, I think it's round three, which means it is now Andre's. No, Lana's turn to go first. Uh, Lana, gerboint. What does that mean? Gosh. Um, I would have to go with the noise of a queef. <laughs> a good point. <laughs> Why is such a dirty mind? I'm sorry. I don't know. I don't know where let's that comes call, from. Let's call it an Austrian queef so that it just has a little bit of a... Oh, of a I like that. <laughs> 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 Let's move up to Andre. Andre, gerboint, what does it mean? Gerboint is when you sneeze in the middle of saying Gesundheit to somebody. <laughs> so somebody sneezes. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, good jokes from y'all both. Let's dip into the audience pool of comedy and pull one out. Josh. Fish for a good one for us and show us what you got, sir. He has one from James Matthews. When your boop your pet oh when you boop your pet's nose. Oh, good point. Boop. That's a good point. That's a good one. We went from a queef joke to a sweet little rated G doggy joke. And that's why we're on the internet. Uh, <laughs> good jokes all time to vote. L for Lana, B for Andre de Boucher, or A for audience. L for Lana, B for Mr. Boucher, or A for audience. You know, I, I think that if I had to guess, gerboint is a word. It's a response you get when you tell a sensible alcoholic that booze is destroying their life. Yeah, that's a gerboint. <laughs> uh, no, you don't. Have, I don't get a five. That's just me. Uh, let's go to the audience, Josh. The winner of round three is Andre. Yes. We got one. Whew. Points on the up. board. <laughs> you keep your job, sir. Points on the board. Up. One for Andre, one for Lana, one for the audience. It is a tie three ways, y'all. So let's break it with this next game, a little game we call this. Caption. 
caption this. I'm just going to show you a picture and then you have to caption it. Old school, whatever you want. Here is the pick. Okay. What is this? Capture, caption this. Type in your joke, anything you want. Caption this. What is it? Type in your joke into the Facebook, the YouTube, or the Twitch chat. Uh, that is your challenge. Good luck to you, audience. Um, boom, boom, boom. It is starting off now, I believe, with Lana. Lana, uh, caption this. Oh, I love this picture. Um, I would have to say that that is um, Frodo takes back Go um Gollum with open arms. Frodo takes back Gollum with open arms. <laughs> Aww. It's so sweet. And, and it's, it's, it, it warms my heart in a good way. Uh, Andre, caption this, sir. Um, that is a May-December cannibalization. <laughs> Very sweet, yeah. I love it. Oh, I love it. Let's go to the audience. Uh, Josh, what do we have from the audience? Shiana, Shiana, for your soul. <laughs> we were pointed together and we were never the same. Yes. Advanced oh comedy callback joke. Nice. This is like when the AI goes insane and starts doing things you don't expect. It. Good job, Shiana, Shiana. That is hilarious. Uh, we now vote. Did you think uh, Lana had the best joke? Type in L. Andre Boucher, type in B or audience A. Was it Lana? Was it Mr. Boucher? Or was it the audience? Good luck. Josh will do his eyeball count up and tell us who won this round. Josh, who won round? Audience won. Oh. <laughs> Callbacks are always popular. Yeah. Callbacks are popular. Mm -hmm. uh, man, so the audience is now in the lead. Andre has won. Lana has won. Uh, things can change, as they always do. Uh, we're going to play a little thing that is just called this. It's time for last show's best. Last show's best. Most people do not watch this. Wait, there's more <laughs> than that. Most people do not watch this live. They watch it later after the fact. We want you to still be able to play. So if you're watching this at four in the morning at grandma's house, pants halfway down and a popsicle stuck down your throat, you can still play. Just type in the joke anyway into the chat, the Facebook, the YouTube, or the Twitch. We go back. We read all of the jokes throughout the week. We pull out a good one, the best one, and we invite that person onto the show to play in the final round. Now, uh, we weren't able to get the, the winner to actually join us, but I still want to give him a shout out. Uh, the picture was this, and uh, it was a... Uh, caption this and the winner of course was Roland the Big Boot Man who just answered Gord Doug, <laughs> Gord Doug. <laughs> so, Roland uh, I'm sorry you didn't uh, get or notice to join us but thank you for playing and I hope you're still playing and I hope you come back and play again and don't forget to check your emails to see if you won because then you are invited to play in the final round and speaking of final rounds here we go it's called Happy Hour It's Happy Hour it is happy hour. Time to get your drink on. I will show you a alcoholic beverage. And all you have to do is tell me, what is the name of that beverage? That's all there is to it. Here we go. <laughs> what is the name of this alcoholic beverage that these two wonderful creatures are enjoying? Type it in now into the Facebook or the YouTube or the Twitch chat. What is the name of this libation, this adult beverage? Good luck, audience. You are in the lead. Will you hold your lead or will Andre or Lana tie it up? We're going to start now with Andre. Andre, what is the name of this cocktail? It's called a junk in the trunk. Yes. Junk, junk in, the in the trunk. trunk. Delicious and bubbly. Uh, Lana, coming down to you. What is the name of this cocktail? Well, this is a cocktail that originates in Tuscany. Ooh, um, and it's called Elephant in the Room. <laughs> <laughs> Elephant in the Room. I like it. Good uh, boy. Uh, let's go now to the audience to see a good one from them. This one comes from Logan Mahoney. Sex in the Zoo. <laughs> <laughs> Much creepier and less uh, wanted than sex on the beach, but that's a good one. <laughs> Type it in now, folks, in our final round. Was it the audience bringing it home? Was it Mr. Boucher? Type in B. Was it Lana? Type in L. B for Boucher. T. I'm sorry. L for Lana. 
A for audience. Uh, I want to thank everyone that is uh, watching the show. Please follow if you haven't. Please like if you haven't. Please share. And then subscribe is really important on YouTube if you don't mind doing that. Um, if you're not watching it live and you want to see the next show, it'll be on Mondays like it always is. Next Monday uh, in March, March 8th, it says. But I think that's wrong because today's the 8th. So add 7 to that and then you're good. At 6 p.m., 9 Eastern. Also, we have a new show airing on Wednesdays now called F Mary Kill Champions, where uh, four comedians discuss who they would F, who they would marry, and who they would kill in what order and with what. So you're going to want to check that out at 8 p.m. on the same You Jokes page. Come back for that. Now it is time to reveal the winner of the final round of You Jokes. Josh, who won tonight's episode? Lana and Andre tied. <laughs> Nice. It just came. It came work. Fast. They both had an equal amount, as far as I could see. It was hard to count. I only have ten fingers. This so. has never happened in the history of you jokes. You guys tied, which then each gives you a point. I'm making this up, and now you're tied with the audience. Everyone's tied. Everyone wins. Yay! Feel good story of the summer. Make <laughs> a great story. Um, thanks everyone for watching you jokes. Thank you, Andre. Uh, please check out his website at andredeboucher.com so yeah. you can find out about the album. I promise you it will be funny as hell. And please follow Lana. Please read her book. Please uh, try her chicken, but only if you are invited <laughs> in the house. Um, and that's our show tonight. We will see you next time on the next you jokes. Bye.